So now we're going to talk about the adaptive defenses. This division of the immune system is very specific and it is specific to cells that are maybe cancerous cells or virus infective cells and the difference between this type of immune branch compared to the innate defenses is that well for one it's like we said it's very specific it, um, it targets specific antigens that have infected cells and or free antigen depending on which br branch we're looking at humoral versus cellular but it's very specific and it must be primed after an initial exposure so initial exposure means that it's just developing a memory for that first exposure so the second exposure it's ready and very active at um, protecting the body from that foreign invader so um, when we talk about amplifying the inflammatory responses if we have infection um, not only do we have the innate defenses, but we also have the adaptive defense, defenses that will add to that immune response and make it very effective. And there's this protein complement we haven't talked about yet, but that's part of the adaptive immune system. This is a protein that is found in the plasma, and it's not activated until the cells of the adaptive immune system um, basically activate complement. We'll talk about that in just a little bit of... Um, detail, not too much because it's more of an advanced concept and we simply don't, simply don't have time. So again, um, adaptive defenses are very specific, so they recognize and target specific antigens. Um, it's systemic, so it's not just within the tissues. This happens um, throughout the vascular system, so um, anytime we encounter this specific antigen, these are found in the plasma and they're going to have access to the entire body system and they also have a memory which means that the second time we're exposed for example the first time you have exposure to uh, chicken pox virus you might be if you're not vaccinated you might become sick um, during in, during the time that your body is responding to that foreign invader but the second time you're exposed to the chicken pox virus you have cells, memory cells, that directly um, will begin secreting lots of antibodies and will attack that before you become ill, and you won't become ill on second exposure. So there's two arms of the, um, I have a little issue here, get back to that. So there's two arms of the adaptive defense or adaptive system, and that is, it's kicked me out of here now. Those are the T cells and the B cells. So we have the humoral, which re we, um, results in antibodies being produced, and we have cellular, which means we have cell-to-cell -cell communication for protecting us against infection and foreign invaders. So the T cells are part of the cellular immunity, and B cells are part of the humoral or antibody-mediated immunity. So when you talk about the adaptive system, we talked about the two branches. There's another player in the game, and that's also the antigen-presenting cells. These cells are found in the plasma, and their job is to present antigen to B cells and T cells so they can take over and perform their role. So these, the adaptive immune system is not um, only targeting free-floating antigens. There's also cells involved that will present the antigen and um, stimulate the, hu the humoral or um, cell-mediated response. So um, talking about then the adaptive immunity in summary, we can say that it uses the T and B cells, those are the lymphocytes, antigen-presenting um, cells, and specific molecules such as complement to identify and destroy non-self substances. So it depends on the cell's ability to recognize antigens as foreign and then communicate with other cells of the immune system so there's a very specific system-wide response.